guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Amin and today I'm doing a mock test with Marwa. I'm saying it already, Marwa. There you go. Marwa, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is the first time we're driving together and you have done a test before. Yeah, I've done two. Okay. And, and I've done them both. It's okay, but they were quite close together. Yeah. And so today you want to just figure out what's going on and hopefully learn from any mistakes if there are any. Yeah. Now we're in a completely new car from what you're used to and a completely new area from where you're generally used to driving. Yeah. You know the area but you don't you've never driven around here. Not really, no. Okay. So that'll be different. Um Yeah, you know what's involved in a mock test, you've seen the videos, you know what's yeah. what. Okay. Alright, so throughout the drive I'm gonna get you to follow the road ahead. I'll tell you whenever I need you to turn. Okay? We're gonna do one manoeuvre, we may also do the emergency stop, similar to everything you've already been practicing. Mm -hmm. Now before we get started, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Okay. Could you tell me, how do you check that your brakes are working in your car? So when you press them, they shouldn't feel spongy or slack. You should feel some resistance. Okay. Um, and when you drive off, your car shouldn't pull to one side. Okay, that's fine. Do you, do you need the car on to test the brakes? No. Yes. Yes or no? <laughs> um, that's just an additional question for you. No. You have to have it on. You have to have it on. Mm, okay. Because we've got hydraulic brakes. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started. Um, for anyone that's new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe if you've not already. Now we're going to get straight into it. Okay. When moving off from stationary, it's always a really good idea to look from the pavement towards the road. My rod checks from the right and then looks over towards the left, and by this point, a blind spot check to the right is now quite old, so you should always check again. And then take the next road on your left. Myra observes this junction really well by looking right ahead, left ahead, right. She's not looking in the sequence exactly, but she's looking throughout. And then turn right from here. Myra demonstrates really good clutch control at this point and looks carefully to make sure the road is clear. Myra makes this left turn really nicely and in the new road she does initially position in the centre but as we're going forward up to the crossroads she starts positioning too close towards the left. As there are parked cars throughout she needed to stay in the middle for a little bit longer. Uh, going ahead. Initially, my right is still positioned closer towards the left when we should be completely in the centre of the road to leave enough space on both sides. But after the motorbike that's coming towards us has passed, she does centre the car quite nicely. At the end, turn right. Marwa uses really good clutch control to peep and creep out into the new road. When she notices there's a vehicle approaching, she waits in this position. So we're now over the giveaway line and we are in the new road and the traffic is starting to flow. It's not an issue that we're in this position as we didn't move in front of traffic, we moved out when the road was clear. 
Now from this position you simply wait for the road to be clear or if someone on the main road gives way to you, you can slowly peep and creep to continue out. Coming up to this next park car on the left hand side which is quite close to the island with the zebra crossing, Myra does really well to stop in a good position behind the car and also uses her mirrors before moving off from this position. If the space is really tight be sure to use really tight clutch control and get yourself out from behind the park car so that you don't travel any closer. Coming up to the end of this road, there is a compulsory left turn which you can see by the arrow painted on the floor and on the sign on the left hand side of the road. Coming up to a junction like this, the examiner would not tell you that you have to turn left as you can see this very clearly and it's a good idea to use your signals as your signal could be beneficial for pedestrians or cyclists. As the traffic on the new road is moving quite slowly, they tend to give way. So be sure when you're waiting at a junction like this to get eye contact with the traffic on the main road and if they're waiting for you quite clearly, then you should slowly edge forward. There was a van on the right hand side that was flashing their headlights to give Murrow away and it wasn't very clear that he's giving way so this does not go down as a fault. Make sure you know that traffic is definitely waiting for you before you commit to the gap. As we moved off from this position, Marwa gets a serious fault with use of mirrors change direction. She should have carried on in the left lane, but she moves into the middle lane and there was a car right next to her. She does check her mirrors, but she should not have moved over. When we moved off at the traffic lights there were three lanes. As we go forward it continues as three lanes for a little while then lane two and three come together to merge to become the overtaking lane. We later had to move back into the left hand lane which Marwa does really well. Initially Marwa is a little slow while making progress but she does quickly get up to the speed of the road and she's not holding anybody up so this does not go down as a fault. While turning left into this new road, Marwa is holding the clutch down but she's controlling the speed by braking enough and she's in the correct gear. She simply needed to just let go of the clutch which she does as soon as she's in the new road. So this isn't necessarily going to be a fault as her speed was controlled the whole time. Turn right 
it's the second exit. Marwa does show really good awareness and planning as she's trying to keep the entrance on the left hand side clear but then she decided to go forward and ends up stopping too close to the van because she's again trying to keep the entrance clear behind her. You should always aim to leave tyres and tarmac visible when you're stopping. As we're travelling in slow moving traffic Marwa was about to go into second gear and she puts her clutch down but then she decided against the gear change and brings the clutch back up in first gear which results in the car engine braking and the car ends up jolting. Now this can be serious fault if somebody behind is too close and you bring the clutch up really quickly as they won't realise you're slowing down as there's no brake light when the engine brake engages. So if you have put the clutch down, be sure to bring the clutch up slowly so that the engine brake doesn't kick in suddenly. Now at the traffic lights, we're going to go ahead, but we're going to keep to the left because we're coming up towards Park Royal, okay? Because the road's going to divide into two in the distance. Just you stay in this lane. Did you mean down there? <laughs> yeah, so we're going down there. This lane will take you there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this left one goes back on the A40. Right, so, oh, so you meant stay on the left as in like because we're going to stay on the left, not literally. Turn. Yeah, we're not like, not turning. Okay. Like go straight, but we're going. Yeah, that's what I said. Go straight, but keep left. <laughs> Right just in here. 
Alright Mirabel, what I'd like you to do now is to reverse into a space of your choice. You can use one of these spaces or you can use these spaces on the left also to park in either side but reverse into a space. As soon as you get into a car park, it's a really good idea to go into reverse gear straight away so if someone turns up behind you, they know what you're intending to do. Marwa waits in the middle of the road for some time, but nobody turned in behind us, so this wasn't a fault, but you need to make it clear with using your reverse light as a signal or even using your indicators. Dry steering or steering while stationary is not a fault in terms of a driving test, but it is something that you want to avoid doing as a new driver. So always move slowly and turn the wheel while you're moving. We're just going to drive over to the right to exit. These traffic lights had a filter error for turning left, which goes green before the rest of the traffic light, so we were able to turn, but the bus had to wait. The traffic light ahead where the pedestrian is waiting to cross does not have a solid line going across our path, so if that traffic light had been red we would not have stopped in that position as that was a repeat traffic light. Okay Marla, when it's safe to do so I'd like you to demonstrate how you would delist the front windscreen. Thank you, you can turn it off. Okay, come up to a roundabout now. I'd like you to take the fourth exit right. It's kind of like third exit actually, so third exit right. As we enter the roundabout at this point, Marwa gets a serious fault with junction observation as the lorry on the right was approaching quite fast and we should not have moved in front of them. Oh. 
We're now passing the penultimate exit and Marwa should have been checking her mirrors and moving into the left to take the exit, but she stays on the right and exits from the right, which can be dangerous. At the next roundabout, we're gonna go ahead towards Twyford Abbey Road. The lorry waiting on the right hand side has got a left indicator meaning they're going to be turning left and we did not need to wait for them. So there are quite a few chances that Marwa has missed at this point. As we were waiting to enter the roundabout, the traffic coming up behind us had to keep switching into the right hand lane in order to avoid us, which is why it went down as a serious fault for hesitation. And as Marwa entered the roundabout, she needed to go round the roundabout, staying in the outskirts as we started in the left-hand lane. Going ahead from here, okay? Oh, no, don't go in the bus lane. All right, when we get to the very end of this road, I'd like you to turn Marwa demonstrates really good coordination with her pedals when moving off from this gradient. She quickly moves her foot off the brake over to the accelerator and steady on the clutch in order to move off. the traffic in the roundabout and see where they're headed and they're all leaving the roundabout towards the right and blocking the traffic from the right so we can enter straight away. As we enter the roundabout watch the black car on the left hand side as they straight line the roundabout so you have to be alert of other drivers as well and as we exit the roundabout watch the position that Marwa is exiting the roundabout as she stays on the right up until her exit. but it's okay, we're just gonna continue down this road, okay? No, it's okay. When we get up to the roundabout, we're gonna make a U-turn and come back this way, so we're gonna take the fourth exit now. Okay? Go all the way around. We have to go all the way around to take the fourth exit, yeah.
right down because it's quite a small space. Just kind of roll into that space behind the rift. That's great there, thank you. That's fine, thank you. Secure the car. Yeah, and you can switch off. Oh, you haven't secured the car. Thank you. Switch off the engine. Brilliant, thank you. If you give me a few minutes, okay? Right, well, you can relax now. That went terrible. That actually went terrible. Why is that? Oh, I promise I don't drive like this, I'm just really nervous. I don't know. So I just, what happened? I don't know. In the beginning. Yeah. What um, happened on that carriageway? Why did you get hooted at? When we was going forward? Yeah. I don't know because I was staying, like, I was stood in my lane. Like, was I supposed to go to the left? Right. Because he was, he was on the right. He was next to me. Yeah. And you moved in front of him, didn't you? Yeah. And then we had to move back to the left later. Yeah. So you actually switched lanes there. Yeah, I switched lanes like as we got on. Yeah, because I thought we always we have to be on the left if we're not overtaking. No, true. But when you started at those traffic lights, which lane were you in? The the there was only two lanes, right? There were three. There were three. I was in the middle. You were in the left. I'll show you later. <laughs> so that was the first bit. Obviously, that's a mistake because you've just switched over lanes. The guys happened to blast the horn. Even the lorry's using the horn at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I was quite a, weird, a bit of a weird one because nothing's really going on and you've just you've just drifted over. Okay. Yeah. Besides that, I want to talk about your roundabouts because that's where the trouble seems to be for me. Me too. Firstly, a bit of hesitation. You don't really realise when to go. Yeah. We're two separate accounts. We just sat there. That lorry. Which way was he indicating? Not the way I was going. He was indicating. Yeah, and we just sat there, and about three, four cars have gone past you on your right. Thankfully, no one was behind you, so no mm. one's disturbed because they're all going round you. Yeah. You know? And you're looking at that lorry and you're like, oh, I actually, I was actually going? Yeah. But then, the, did you see the red car? Yeah, but that red car, you know? I thought the red car was going to come round. You know, but that it didn't. red car it actually to... started next to you. You both started the roundabout together. He went into the roundabout, did a U turn, and come back out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, then we had the, the massive black lorry, I think it was like a John Lewis or something. As we went in, he was right there. So we needed to, the roundabout was a bit tricky because you oh, couldn't see one. to yeah. the right. Yeah. So you needed to, once you go in, you got to get on with it, go a bit he quicker. He came really quick. Like, he did. I think, I feel like I had time in the beginning and then he just, he just Yeah, you kind of, you tried yeah. to pick up speed, but we needed to be a bit quicker there. Oh. So we, firstly, because of how that roundabout is, it's kind of like this, you can't really see. see yeah. So you want to lean forward and when you go in, you got to go yeah, quick. quicker. Yeah. Um, and mostly it's to do with how you're exiting the roundabouts. Mm. You're not trying to make your way to the left to the exit. You're kind of just slipping off the roundabout from mm -hmm. the right. And that's where um, you're kind of making it harder for yourself. It's not so safe the way we're leaving roundabouts. So mm. I'm going to go over that with you now. Your reverse park uh, into the bay, really nice. But um, you know, when before you started, before you picked that space, you know there was a car in that space. Yeah, you oh, kinda, the woman. There was a silver car. But then she moved, did she not? <laughs> Because I was waiting and then I didn't know she well, was you in wait, that car. You wanted, you wanted that exact space and I you wanted, want her to move. I wanted her to move. <laughs> <laughs> that was quite funny because you lined up with the line and I thought, great. And I thought, well, there's a car in that space. You put it in reverse again and then she happened to move. To move, yeah. And I was thinking, what's going to happen if she just... <laughs> okay. So you went in the space perfectly and you're looking around. It's all great. You know when we was outside Asda yeah. and we was turning left? Yeah. Because the arrow on the floor said left, I didn't know. On that I one, did and you, I did it. Yeah, that was fine. But like, do you have to do it then? It's a good idea, isn't it? Because if you're... What if you were crossing the road on the main road and you're just kind of looking up and down you don't see any cars on the main road yeah. and you don't realise the traffic coming from Asda is going to come this way. Mm -hmm. So as a pedestrian, that signal would be useful for, for you. Them, yeah. So that's why, that's why you want to just put your signal on every time you're turning. Mm -hmm. So mostly just hesitation. Um, and you're changing lanes on your roundabouts and you're lane not kind of making your way. It. Yeah, it's, it's, there was one, oh, where was this? Sorry, let me think about. There was one where you, oh yes, that's it. We were going, we were going, how did I miss to forget to say this? So we're, you know that roundabout where that lorry was on your right and you were waiting for ages, hesitation. Yeah. When you went into that roundabout, initially you've started the roundabout in the left lane. 
As you enter the roundabout, you've drawn a straight line across the two lanes and then head back out. So I wasn't like in... Again, a, lane discipline. Yeah, I was just so in the, the middle of two lanes. So you started in the left one. Mm -hmm. These both need to go in and go like that. Mm -hmm. You started on the left and then you went, nope, I'm going to go in the right one and then I'm going to oh. exit on the left one. Oh. So you're kind of drawing a straight path yeah. between these two lanes. Your general drive is really good. Like. You're using your mirror signalling, positioning your clutch control, your observation at small junctions, that's all really good. Mm -hmm. Hesitation on roundabouts for sure. You don't yeah. realise when to go in. Yeah. And um, when you're leaving, when you're, you're lane discipline on the roundabout itself and when you need to move left. So we're yeah. going to go and practice some of this now so you, okay. you can see it. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's what I kind of thought as well. I haven't really done much roundabout. You haven't? Um, I've done a few, but like not big ones. Like I've done the... The small ones but i haven't really like practiced a lot on the on the big ones yeah um i could kind of tell you, yeah you kind of um you yeah. weren't that confident on them yeah okay. because what you have to do on roundabouts is even though you've started on the right when you when you know you're going you're going to be exiting and you can go yep yeah, that's one that's two if you're leaving at three let's say you're going around the roundabout you go well that's one that's two as soon as you can see two you don't want to be in the right lane and you want to start to you want to start out. to move outwards to check your mirrors move mm -hmm. out signal and yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas what you're doing is you're going, oh, there's one, two, and then you're going around, and you go, oh, there's three, and then you're just I'm just cutting. Yeah, like I'm not actually, yeah. Yeah? So if you had like, on this, you know when we did this roundabout U-turn, that motorbike, he was about to enter as you were going round, because he thought, oh, she's on the right still, so she's probably going to go round. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is a problem. Yeah? Yeah. All right, well, that's the end of uh, your <laughs> mock test today. How was this mock test experience for you, do you think? It was okay. I've kind of like clarified that I really do need to focus on like roundabouts and my lanes because I've, I've I do think my general driving is quite is, yeah. is decent. You've like, got good control like, of your car. Like it's okay. It's just when it comes to like roundabouts and stuff like that. Roundabouts and lane discipline. You yeah. said it at the beginning. Yeah, I told yeah, you. Yeah, you know it. Yeah. yeah, I knew it. So it's good. Um, you know what to work on, but you yeah. just need to really kind of focus on these things now. Yeah. You want to be really confident on roundabouts and, and just, that's it. If you mm -hmm. want to be really confident, know what you're doing, have your exit planned. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Alright, well thank you for everyone that's been watching. Hopefully you can learn from <laughs> uh, Marwa's mistakes here <laughs> and not make them. <laughs> but yeah, that's okay. You'd rather make these mistakes now in your lessons still. Yeah. Because you don't want to get your license and then head out and drive, drive on yeah, your own. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That's much worse. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it's okay. You're still learning. <laughs>